Hello YouTube, this is Golden Eman One here and today we're going to be talking about how to get more frames per second in PlanetSide 2. PlanetSide 2 is a very demanding game meaning that some computers and laptops will not have enough power to sustain a playable frame rate but hopefully this video will help those who want to play. This video will be split into three parts with timestamps in the description for any returning viewers. So part number one will be computer hardware, so this is what you can be doing to your computer physically. Part two will be your computer system and we'll actually focus on the system of your computer. And part three will be the in-game settings which will cover the graphical settings that you can use whilst in-game. So first off we'll start with computer hardware, now the first tip may come to a surprise to some, but cleaning your fans will greatly help your PC. When you have a buildup of dust on your cooling fans or your exhaust, less cool air will get in and warmer air will stick around which will heat up your components and affect the performance of your PC. However, if you do decide to open it up, do this at your own risk and remember that if you have a warranty, do not open it and take it back to your computer manufacturer to fix it for you. Now for those gaming on a laptop, I'd advise getting a laptop cooler because it will help get more cool air into your laptop and rise it from the dusty surface. I used to play PlanetSide 2 on a laptop myself and as soon as I got my laptop cooler it really helped and it dropped the temperature to a stable plane temperature. If you don't want to get a laptop cooler then a really quick and easy way of doing this is using bottle caps and putting them underneath your laptop. It won't draw cool air into your laptop of course but it'll keep it off that dusty surface. Lastly you can add thermal paste to your CPU especially if you've had your PC for a number of years. This will conduct more heat from the CPU for it to be drawn out by the CPU cooler. Moving on swiftly, we're going to talk about our computer system. Now the first thing I would recommend is to get an antivirus program such as Malwarebytes or AVG. Now the reason why I say this is because you might have a virus running in the background which takes up memory space and will ultimately affect your planet side 2 performance. And usually you'll find that if you get the AVG or the Malwarebytes, then your PlanetSide 2 will increase in performance as well as your general PC. Whilst you switch on your computer and continue to use it, uh, more programs will be loaded and just stay there if you don't close them. So I'd recommend that you close programs that you're not using to free up memory space. However, there is a program that does do this for you and that is called Razer Game Booster. And it says it all in its name. It's made by Razer, it's used for games and it will boost the performance of your game. This really helped my laptop gain more FPS and it is really effective. So I recommend you guys download that, especially if you're using a laptop. What it does is set the game as a priority and minimizes or closes background programs. And it's just really good. Now this next tip may work for some people, but it may not work for others. And you may have heard it before. Yes, this is unparking your cores. Now, when you have your operating system, which uh, most likely is going to be Windows, um, when Windows parks cores, it does this because it believes that there isn't enough power, there isn't enough work that needs to be done for the core to be unparked. So if you do this manually, then it may give you some extra performance in PlanetSide 2. However, this may work for some people, but it may not work for others. Particularly for me, it really helped my laptop gain a bit more FPS. Now, the most important thing you can do is to keep your graphics card updated. And the best way to do this is obviously using drivers. Now, what the drivers do is they utilize your graphics card's uh, physical ability to the best of its ability. So for NVIDIA users, you can download the GeForce Experience, which will notify you of any new driver updates. And I'm not sure if AMD have something like this, but if not, then you can refer to the AMD website. Links will be provided in the description. Now, if you're playing PlanetSide 2 on a Windows 7 operating system, you can have different type of themes. Now, you could switch over to the Windows XP theme, which is the desktop theme I'm talking about here. And when I did this with my laptop, I got a lot more FPS. And I guess the reason why is because Windows XP takes up less memory on your actual PC. Whereas Windows 7 themes will take up quite a bit. So switching over to a Windows XP theme would give more performance in PlanetSide 2. Now moving on into the PlanetSide 2 in game settings, I would recommend you put your shadows on low or turning them off completely. The reason why I suggest this is because rendering shadows puts a lot of stress on the GPU. So having them off will allow you to get more frames. 
Let's just remember that Planet Side 2 is a massive game with many players across the map. Your GPU would have to render shadows for those players, but not only the players, but for the vehicles, the obstacles, trees and everything else. So even turning them off would be even better. Next up, the render distance can be changed. Now, unless you're a pilot, you only need 1000 meters of rendering distance. However, if that's a bit too much, then I would say maybe you cycle it down to 800 meters or 700 meters. But one thing to note is that you may need to bump it up a bit because if you're in a terrain fight, you may need to see vehicles that are far away. If you want to go full potato, then you might want to just simply put the graphics on very low. Bear in mind, the game won't look as nice as you'd like it to be, but it'll give you much more FPS. Now, all the tips I've given to you today have worked really well for me in the past, but if you have any problems, then please let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll help you out as best as I can. There are probably more tips I have left out, but if you do know any tips, then leave them in the comments down below for other people to use them. I can give you guys all the tips I know, and I really hope this video has worked for you, but at the end of the day, hardware is hardware. In the near future, I will be making a video on how to get PC parts for a cheaper price. So if you want to see that video, then make sure you're subscribed to be updated. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, maybe that's been in the form of the gameplay or from what I've said, then why don't you go down and smash that like button. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to receive some more golden quality content. But nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.